Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And we're doing something today on the channel that I have never done because this channel is only just over one year old. We are opening my favourite, my favourite set and that is Throne of Eldrain. And what we're going to get in the first pack, we've got the alternate art Hypnotic Sprite for the Uncommon, Shine Chaser, Turn Into a Pumpkin, Stormfist Crusader in that rare slot with a swamp and a piece of garbage. Now, why am I opening this, you ask? Well, one, because it is my favorite set ever. Two, because someone sold it to me really cheap online. And three, I really, really want to get a foil Great Henge. That would be really special, wouldn't it? Or even an Oko. I have been known in my time. And we've got Sorcerer's Spy Glass in the rare forest and an adventure card. As I said, I have been known in my time to pack a few Ocos. I've done a few on this channel, just when I've opened one pack of Throne of Eldrain, I've done it a few times off camera. For some reason, me and Oco are just drawn together. So we'll see if we'll get it in this box. Obviously other things, oh, Bone Crusher Chime. Things that you love to see in a Winota deck on Arena, Bone Crusher Giant. You obviously, you've got your other cards like your Brazen Borrowers, but you know, really, really, it's all about these days Great Henge and Oko. Oko being about a £20 card and Great Henge being about 40 now, it just keeps rising. Grum Gully, some good uncommon slots here, and a good, a good, good card. It's a good pull. The Alternate Art Murderous Rider, I love. The art on this on this set, Pro White, one of my favourites. It's just alternate art done well, and we got our first foil, a nice foil forest. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for all things MTG. Like the video, like I said, because that pack opening just then was so clean. Yeah, this set was just so good, wasn't it? Adventure was just. Or is still going strong, is a brilliant mechanic, so cool. Lockmere Serpent here, really, really cool. 7 7. Obviously, you can sack the islands, the swamps, make it unblockable, draw some cards. Really, really nice Demir option there. Yeah, just a couple off. 850 subscribers now, which is, which is mental. That means we're not far off a thousand. And a thousand by August means one thing. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. You know what it is. You know what it is. And Yorvo, or oh, not a mythic, but one hell of a good card. Really, really, really cool card. And planes and a giant token. For three forests, Yorvo is just the gift that keeps on giving. If you've got any green sort of stompy deck, you're putting Yorvo right in there. But yeah, so many of these cards are seeing... Even though it's the oldest card really in standard now, since like War of Spark and all that went out of rotation, I'd probably say this card included Feast and Troll King. The Throne of Eldraine cards are just seeing so much play in uh, in standard on Arena. But again, why the hell not? Adventure and that whole adventure mechanic, there's just so many good ways to, to build a deck around it. Obviously there's been a few a few cards in this set that have been uh, that have been given the ban hammer. But yeah, still, just all these cards are getting so much play. So Comrade, brilliant uncommon card. We've not come across a mythic yet. Does that mean we're gonna get one now? No, Castle Vantress, which is still a smashing card. Really, really good. Any sort of staple with blue that you've got, you'll wanna be putting it in there. If you've got the mana spare, why not have a little scry? I kind of mix all these packs up too, so it's not like pile one, two, three. It's just, it's just the cards are all sort of everywhere. So we might get a, a load of mythics together. We might get none at all if if we've been uh, if we've been done dirty. Wish Claw Talisman, another cool card that I wish saw. Well, wish wish it saw more play. It's just a uh, it's a really cool card. It's got some fun fun sort of uh, shenanigans that could go along with it. And and. The art, the, the land, the land art in this set is, is sublime. It's all very, very fairy tale. Really, really fits this whole thing perfectly. Which I guess they were, is what they were trying for Throne of Eldraine. Everything has some sort of 
fairy tale type reminder. Now this saccade I hate seeing in standard. I hate it. Always making this sack stuff. Foo and food. Speaking of food, if you've not already, then obviously check out the Dina deck tech because that was all around food. And there are so many Throne of Eldraine cards that just fit right into it because, again, great, great set. What is your favourite Throne of Eldraine card? Let me know in the comments below. Piper of the Swarm, this instantly, when this came out, found a home in my Ayara deck, which, again, Ayara, Throne of Eldraine, it all, it all works back together. No, no mythics yet, are there? No mythics, it's just, uh, it's rare city. It's rare city. Let's put, let's put the murder Rider there. Where are the mythics? Is this gonna be a mythic? A bit too, a bit too scared to say, will it be the card of the, the, the pack of the deck? The pack of the box? Yeah, I got there eventually, didn't we? Pack of the box. It's not gonna be this one though. Lucky Clover, that's the card that got banned in standard, wasn't it? That was a, uh, that was just ridiculous. And Bantress Gargoyle in that rare slot. And a foil, nice little foil island. Okay, we're a third of the way through, but like I said, I'm I'm not really looking for, for big value in this. If we don't get a big value box, it's not the end of the world. I've just never opened a box of Eldraine myself. And I just wanted to treat myself, you know? Payday came and went, saw it for cheap. Oh, Crackbridge Troll fun fun little card give your opponents goats and then uh yeah go crazy goat crazy but i can feel i can feel it coming up it's, it's not this one i think the next one might be the uh the pack of the box if you've got an mtg arena waste of space card it's never going to be the pack of the box what are we gonna have here will it be the first mythic beanstalk giant Alternate art, lovely stuff. Drown in the lock, just just the most annoying card in standard. And oh, Return of the Wild Speaker, not a mythic, but just such a good card. So I was gonna say underrated, it's just rated. It's so, so good. And oh, a foil rare, foil rare, Black Lance Paragon. We've got enough rares, let's, uh, let's put that there. But this, this, consider we've not got a mythic yet, this is the pack. The pack of the box. And I've been on a real hot streak recently getting this right. So here we go. Are you ready? I'm gonna be saying I don't know how I do it, but I always get it right, and uh, this is gonna be it. Embreath Shield Breaker, there we go. We've got an alternate alternate art there. Overwhelmed apprentice. Oh damn it. You hate to see it. Fervent champion. Good card. Good card, but it's not. A pack of the box and a foil mystic sanctuary there. Oh, my streak is over. And I am actually now a little bit a little bit concerned at the lack of mythics, but surely surely it just means they're all gonna they're all gonna come at once. That's what that's what I'm telling myself. Onto the onto the uncommons, Edgewalling Keeper, Castle Embreath, another castle, but not a mythic yet. Where are the mythics? Ugh. This is worrying, but as I said, I sort of grabbing the packs, sort of freestyle out of the box. So hopefully they're all just put through together. We're not quite, we're not quite halfway yet. But yeah, besides the um, <clears throat> Brooklyn Mom set tattoo, I said I'd get. What else? What else should we do to celebrate a thousand? What should we do? I feel like it needs to uh, needs to be celebrated. And glass casket there, another good card. Sees a lot of play, and the first mythic is here. The Cauldron of Eternity costs two less to cast for each creature in your graveyard. Yeah, when a creature dies, you can put it at the bottom of its owner's library and then pay two life and return a creature from the graveyard to the battlefield. Huge card and first mythic. That is somewhat of a relief. Mythics up there with the marmosets. The mythic marmosets. Yeah, can you believe it? Can you believe it? What did this come out in? Late 2019? This was a time before, before the half monkey half marmoset prickly whatever it is was was even created how crazy stolen by the fey another rare but a really cool rare create loads of uh x11 blue fairy creature tokens nice stuff and epic downfall in the foil here we go you can see i've got a 
got a few booster boxes lying around these days. Got that, got that Times Spiral one, but I just can't bring myself to open it. I feel like every every week you look and its value's just gone up a little bit. You just don't want to do it. And onto another band card, Fires of Invention. I think I just see those cards and get mad, you know? Get mad. Wizards, start putting free codes on there. You're not gonna lose anything. You know what I mean? Okay. But getting getting to the more happy times. Rochester's great card. One drop plus seven plus seven. And we've got another Clackbridge troll. This printing sheet had too many Clackbridge trolls on. I didn't ask for your sign post scarecrow. Yeah, I won't even kid myself. The value is not in this box right now. I mean, if you're lucky, you still get this for for basically the price that it came out on. I'm guessing once the uh, the printing, well, I guess the printing has already stopped, but I guess once it goes out of out of its sort of window, and uh, yeah, I guess the price will slowly go up a bit because it is just such a good set. And what is with these double rares? What is with these double rares? Give me, give me better. Give me better. That was that was some good England there. Give me better. Just give, oh, just give me all of these, all of these. Okay, non-foil signpost scarecrow. Yeah, this set was great, wasn't it? Full of giants, full of knights, full of wizards, full of food. It was just great. Midnight clock. Again, another card you're going to see so much in standard at the minute. Really, really cool. And uh, a spomp. Okay, coming on to the last two for this uh, for this second third. Yeah, what is what is? I mean, I like to ask a million questions in these videos, but what is? Yeah, what is your best pull? What is your best Throne of Eldraine pull? Did you get any of the collector stuff? Fires of Invention again. There's so many double rares. What is? What is with this box? Yeah, what is your best pull? Have you got? A million Ockos. Have you got that alternate art Ocko? Have you got, I don't know, Will Will and Rowan? Have you got, what have you got? What have you got? Tell me. I never got the collector box for this, so I'm sure there was some great pulls in that. Linden, the Steadfast Queen, Human Noble. Good card, but not quite good enough. And Rally for the Throne in Foil. Okay, as we march on to the last 12 now, we have got what have we got here we've got a we've got a good pack this is isn't it this is going to be a great pack let's just smash through it another mythic we have not a mythic just a charming prince the the lewis card as people people call it you know in every circle because it's just it's just charming one mythic i mean i know i know the going rate is four to six mythics in a box so the odds of these next like 10 packs should be should be good but what if it's just a what if it's just a dead sheet what if i've just got a bad sheet and this is not a bad card the goose the goose is a honking good card but we've got we've got a lack of mythics yeah the goose is a legendary card when it first came out obviously it was quite expensive wasn't it it was quite expensive it's had it's had a nice little drop, thank God, because uh, you don't want to be, you don't want to be spending, you know, five, ten pounds on a, a naught two, naught two goose, as good as it is. Stone coil serpent, another really, really good rares. The rares in this set, they're they're rare, deserving, but they're not mythicy. I do have a lovely full art stone coil serpent, which looks, which looks fantastic. Got into a little bit of a an eBay phase a while ago and you know, or oh, something was going on a Sunday and it was like still 60 odd P. You bet I was bidding for it. Okay, Escape to the Wilds. Another another really cool, another really cool card, but again, I'm saying it every pack now until I get a mythic. It's not it's not a mythic. Is this the worst booster box you've ever seen? Two, four, six, eight packs left. So they're all coming. They're all coming in this lot. What do I? What do I even put as the title for this video? Because you know, if you put if you put the worst box opening you'll ever see in your life, well, that'll be the worst performing viewed video you'll ever have in your entire life. 
Okay, we're getting all the castles. Another another good castle. Really, really cool. Cool draw cards and then lose life equals number cards in your hand. And another food token. Even the tokens were good in this set. Like, so, so good. Then they moved on to Ikoria and had like a hundred different human soldier tokens. I remember those first three videos I did. It's all I was getting. It's all I was getting. I would like to make a deck one day and have just just seven dwarves in it, you know? Get them all out. That would be pretty epic. Castle Ardenvale. Uh, uh, is that all the castles? Did, have I got all the castles now? Did I, get, did I get the green castle? I'm not sure. Oh, wizard, you've done me absolutely dirty on this printing sheet. But if there's one thing I know about my pal Oko, Oko, <laughs> Oko he likes to turn up right when you least expect it. So, you know, maybe expect to uh, see him at the, at the in the last pack, you know? Or oh, Fable Passage, again, another really cool card. But, um, but yeah, not that valuable anymore. Fable Passage, okay. What is this one gonna be? Maybe I've missed, maybe I've just not noticed some of Mythics. No, I'm not that, not that. What is it when you not notice something? I'm not that, I'm not that. That was a terrible sentence. Cauldron Familiar, Hushbringer. Again, another really cool card. Flying, lifelink, and creatures entering the battlefield or dying don't cause abilities to trigger. That is absolutely huge. The art is pretty interesting too. Three or four packs left. Maybe we'll get a nice little, maybe this pack is gonna have a Rankle Master of Pranks. That's, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Safaran, the Hedgehammer. Great card. Keeper of Fables. Wildborn Preserver is the rare, the Elf Archer that you can just keep pumping up with those X spells. And a nice foil planes. Here we go. Three left. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Rowan to the end. I'm feeling like a Rowan is a Rowan's gonna be that last that last pack look that we desperately need right now. We need three mythics in a row to even make that that four mythic quota. Crazy. Okay, coming on to the uncommons. Deafening Silence, Frogify, Black Lance, Paragon, Blooming Heck. What, what a box. Well, okay, two packs left. Oh, maybe I name this video, You Won't Believe This Box. Because if, if you were to say that you'd only see one mythic in a box, I would, I would say, I don't believe you. But uh, they're gonna be in the last two. Oh, yes, there we go. That is that is on the list of things you love to see. Garrick, Cursed Huntsman, minus three, destroy a target creature, draw a card, and then you get that emblem to beef up your creatures. I really love the, uh, the Nort ability as well to create the wolves. Then when they die, you get the loyalty counters. Really, really cool. There we go. Ah, uh, the second one, the second one. That means, that means this. I mean, it won't take much. It won't take much, but this is the pack of the deck. The pack of the deck. And we will flick through these because we don't want to see these. This is definitely going to be a mythic. It is, it is, it's Rankle. It's Rankle Master of Pranks to end the video. Wow, wow. That is, uh, oh, nice, nice foil. Altar Fairy Godmother, that is pretty damn cool. Well, usually I like to go through all of the uh, all of the mythics and good cards, but I won't. Uh, I will show you these. <laughs> what a box, what a box. Yeah, there we go. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for all things MTG. Check out our link tree in the description for all of our social media and affiliate links. But for now, I'm all tapped out, so I'll see you in the next video.